We're going to show you how to mount your compression misting tees to your tubing. Just simply take it as it comes with the, the ferrules are already in place. Just push this onto your tubing as far as it'll go. You hold the inside with the 9 16 wrench and using a 5 8 wrench you just tighten this up on your tubing. Roll the thumb righty tighty lefty loosey. Don't want to over tighten it. Okay the reason that we tell you not to put your nozzles in till after you have your line mounted is in case you need to turn these any little bit the, the nozzle restricts to where you can get this wrench on see the next the next turnaround the nozzle is in the way and we do not want you breaking this nozzle off inside of that hole if you do then uh, we recommend that you go get an easy out that will fit into that hole. You run another piece of tubing from here to your next nozzle. We recommend that you cut your tubing two to three feet, preferably two foot to get the best coverage. If you do anything less than two feet or more than three foot, you may have too much water if you put too many nozzles close together. If you put them too far apart, over three foot, then you may not get the coverage that you're looking for. Then when you get all your nozzles put in, you want to make sure that this threaded piece right here, make sure that they're all facing in the same direction before you install it to your soffit or wherever you're going to put it that way you don't have to go back and try to move these to line them all up um, at the end of the after your very last nozzle you'll cut an, another little piece of tubing and fasten it in place and then uh, you'll be putting on this end plug right here which that is just the end of the line now before you actually put this on and tighten it down we're going to show you how to flush your system out before you use it then you will be installing this after that process now after you have misting line installed to your soffit or wherever you're going to put it once it's installed and you have all of these pointing down all in the same direction then you can go back and put in your 0.006 nozzles they will simply screw into this hole here and just get them real tight so they don't leak.